as Professor Ball has introduced, well, I've been the project manager of beta editorial team in CBDB since 2011, and I just retired this summer. Keywords being retired, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't work for CBDB anymore. Uh, but as somebody who used to work for CBDB, well, I think I should use this opportunity to introduce that how virus kind of data in different forms, like from other uh, databases, some secondary reference books, and some in some cases, just historical materials. Uh, Experiencing what kind of process, and finally getting into CBDB. And as Professor Ball has addressed earlier, that we keep many mistakes, but we keep the, the, the whole picture a right one. So I'm gonna so so when 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 we were promoting uh, our database uh, in China under virus kind of uh, opportunities, there are many people showing lack of confidence to, uh, towards us, and some of them are ex excellent actually excellent scholars. Their main anxiety is that the use of database would cut off the bond between historians and their materials, imagine that. And uh, so, so one of the reasons I give this talk here is to build some confidence that we're not trying to do that. <laughs> and on the other hand, I'm also afraid of a kind of blind using of CBDB as this is kind of like final answer, uh, a data that you can use as the original uh, historical material, and that is also not right. So I'm basically trying to build up some confidence and raising some concerns. So enough about me. So there hasn't been many history of CBB talked today, but anyway, this is what I heard. I didn't experience it. So basically, Harvard University is like well, the headquarter. Well, introduce of uh, the, the, they are they're responsible for plan planning data acquiring, taking a task managing, and data mining, including the actual data mining work and developing data mining tools, and most important, in charge of fundraising. Well, and there is IHP and TTS company. Well, they joined since uh, 2006. Again, that's what I heard. Well, IHP uh, support us with digital resources of historical materials, and TTS support us with an online inputting system, which is very important. And more important is the data, uh, data service, which we store our huge amount of data in their server. And the third part, is the, the beta editorial team I work on. Well, our uh, our main work is actually manual work. There are two large groups of manual work I'm talking about. One I'm not gonna uh, elaborate today is the basic structure funding. Well, as Professor Fuller has showed this morning that a relational database relies on a set of basic forms like the address form, the relation form, which was designed and coded. And this uh, all needs huge, uh, huge amount of manual work and, and historical insight. Uh, well, our team just uh, in charge of a little part of it, and most part is done here at Harvard. And what I am trying to do today is introducing our data processing. Well, this is our team working. Well, usually it's five to 10 people and working in the library of Center for Research of China traditional, Chinese traditional history. And we work annually for 50 to 60 days. And the, the members are usually uh, uh, graduate students of Song and Yuan history. So basically, uh, the, the manual work uh, 
we, we are doing can be divided by the role of our team and the data source that is coming from. So I simply divide, uh, I simply uh, divide it into three and three. So basically there are uh, nine possibilities, but I'm not gonna elaborate, elaborate them each. And the, uh, and the green cross in the middle, I think, is the computational methods. So uh, what I'm going to do is I will introduce some uh, typical and extreme cases to see what problems we, we are, uh, we've come into data processing and what lesson we can learn from it. And first, it's the very typical lesson of from menu uh, from manually inputting to quality control. Basically, we started uh, with uh, manually inputting and we're not satisfied with, so we turn into examining each data and material sources. And then I'm gonna introduce an extreme case, which we use many work uh, to do phylo uh, phylological work in the historical uh, materials. And then I'm uh, gonna introduce a failed case, which a very ambitious project, I think, falling apart. And last, I'm gonna compare two most frequently used methods uh, in our data, data mining process and uh, see what kind of them is, uh, which kind of them is more accurate or convenient or efficient. So let's start it one by one. And first is, it's the Wang Deyi work of Song Yuanren Zhuanji Ziliao Suo Ying. And, uh, and the MQWW led by uh, Professor Grace Fang, MQ University. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the, the, the work of Wanda Yi is, is where we started. Uh, we started with reference books because. Uh, Wang Dei is the Sung Ren Zhuangji Ziliao Suo Yin and his Yuan Ren. Uh, Yuan, Yuan, yeah, that of Yuan as well. So it's much easier and uh, and already summarized what the historical material says. As we can see, there will be a simple biograph, uh, biography here and the list of the materials, uh, historical materials here. As that's what we started, uh, as that is what we started at, so we set the bar very high. So we're not quite satisfied with just uh, checking this box, which means the simple bio. And we've extend our fingers onto this. So basically we go through uh, the, the, the materials to check if the biography is correct. And the same cases also happen in the MQWW. You gotta speak louder. Okay. And the case, same cases also happen in MQWW. So uh, MQWW is is good in many ways, but there is MQW this part. Is the main key women women writing. Writing, yeah. writing database. So it is that the comment is which contains huge amount of uh, social associations and kinships are in text instead of data. So what we do is that we um, we read these comments and, they, and and put them into data. And also here is where the comment is coming from. However, uh, the people who's who previous work on this is not a trained historian. It's an IT guy, so 
made a lot of mistakes. And moreover, uh, the, the, the collection of uh, women writing as Ming Yuan Shi Hua and Guo Chao Gui Xiu Zheng Shi Xu Ji are sometimes are not, uh, are not very good edited. So we have to look into different databases for, I mean, for text databases like Jibun Gu Jiku, whatever, to find what is the real case. So basically, it's philology. And in these two cases, we started like we are trying to get what is already in the database into CBDB, but well, actually, we did much further and we spent a lot of time. At the end, we correct Wonder E's work for like uh, for hundreds of mistakes and send them back to Taiwan. <laughs> well, that's part of deal. Yeah, because Wonder E's work is exists as a digital edition carried by academic syndicates. So all of the errors we discovered could prove the digital edition. So that's a win-win solution, I think. And here is the very extreme case that we face historical uh, material directly. That is of the letters of Quan Songwen and the kinship relationships in Tang Dai Mujie Hui Bian. This is a screenshot from the, the, the work we did with the letters of Quan Songwen. First, uh, we, uh, Zhu Ping Si at, 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 at Tsinghua University of, uh, of Xinzhu but chose uh, automatically automatically chose all the, the 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 letters from the the content of CP, uh, the content of Quan Songwen and form uh, and uh, form a uh, excel sheet and he he looked up all the uh, all the ids of the of the author in cdb so column a is the id of cdb for the author, and we don't know who is the recipient. Again, the, the philology, a philological word is involved. So in some cases, it is quite simple. And you, you just uh, switch the, the directions of the, the, the courtesy name and, the, uh, and your last name. But sometimes it involves reading, re reading the whole letter again and again. So basically, it took us almost two years with four or five graduate students to do it. The good spot of this is that, uh, the good side of this is that this is totally new. Nothing, uh, no one has ever done this before. And the downside is because it's very hard work. So the error rate is not very low. And the, the, the same case also happened in the kingships of Tang Dai Mujie Hui Bian, because uh, the, the narratives of Tang Epithus are not that uh, structured as that of Song and later dynasties. We spent a lot of time reading the tones of the, the text and defining who the hell is are they really talking about. <laughs> well, pardon me. Nervous. And then I'm gonna uh, introduce a failed task. That's with the Song Shi postings. Does Professor Bo know about this? I could guess since you didn't ever deliver the data. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it started as a very ambitious and uh, uh, project, a very ambitious project that we pick all the, uh, look at column C. That's called the verb of appointment, VOA. We pick up all the, uh, VOA, and what's following the VOA is actually the official titles. And we use these official, supposed official titles, and we, we search them in our current uh, hierarchy trees of uh, some official sheets, and we get answers. It seems very fine. And as we can see, there are about 70 to 80 percent of the uh, accurate, but well, just there are two or three things went wrong. Thanks. First is that the procedure is not actually 
uh, correct. Uh, we have to, because uh, the people who's making the official uh, the official sheet two or three years ago does not uh, did not know that they will be used in this way. So they were not designed to do this. As uh, for for example, uh, there are all kinds of zhubu in different agencies. But when you search for Drupal, it, it comes with the first, which is not usually the Drupal of a county. And this happens a lot. And there are also so many partials that we cannot design, uh, decide which one it is. So basically, this led to the, 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 next, uh, the next failure that there is not a very workable or friendly interface for our inputters. As you can see, uh, we don't see the original text in this Excel sheet. So, which made us very hard to define where it is. And this should not be a problem, as the text was supposed to be separated by names, since they all belong to the same, uh, the, the, the biograph uh, of the same people, the same person. And the separation was done by ourselves. But again, when we were doing the separation, we don't know what we are actually dealing with. Or we don't know what the following words would be. So, that out. So basically, after a month of trying, we find that the, the incorrect 30% just never disappear. And it quickly buried with following words. Alas. <laughs> Sorry. And the last is the a comparison. Gate and tagging system are the, the interface or software we use to do data mining. The case with gate is this one. Oops. Uh, this one, right? Okay. Well, Gate is a short for something which is developed by a English government. And uh, what we've opened is an XML file, XML file with all the tags. And we tag them by uh, ex uh, regular expressions. Like we, we program everything beside, uh, before Tzu as a name and Tzu as a kinship relationships. Also. Something like that. So the, the working procedure of gate is that we is that uh, hover here run through all the regular expressions that program and give us all the feedbacks, uh, all the results, and we prove the results. One problem of this, is, uh, the good side is that oh, well, after. Well, you can you can process large amounts of data at once, but the, the downside is that you have no interactions with the actual working group. When some uh, when some obvious mistake or something you never something never came up while you're writing the regular expressions came up, well, there's no way of changing it automatically. For example. If the Nian Hao Hong is recognized as a as an as people's name, it just keep becoming people's names, and you have to delete each Hong every time it appears. So, it's it wastes some time, and uh, more important, it makes workers think that what are we doing? <laughs> well, because there is kind of. Uh, a, a sense of capitalism <laughs> growing <laughs> in the academic, something like that. Uh, however, things things really changed. Now we are using this. Uh, it's called tagging system, which is also developed here by the Harvard editorial group. Many thanks. Uh, well, the difference between tagging system and gate is that uh, it, although it also uses regular expressions to tag, it focuses on workers. So the whole, the whole process, the whole tagging process is done manually by the worker, by the editor. 
And where does the computational method uh, lies? It helps you to do it easily and quickly. So this is what, what, what we've been doing for the past around 18 months. We tag all the uh, officials from local gazetteers. And I think it's quite a, a good work. So basically, uh, the, the reason why I introduced these cases first to CBDB users is that uh, not all the data in CBDB was manually examined. But however, we tried our best to do is that uh, most of the data can trace back to the original historical material. Uh, if you see the, the there's a source column of CBDB, and you sometimes it's historical material, sometimes it's database. But if it's database, you can click it and turn into the uh, the other databases, and there will be the source of historical material, something like that. And I'm definitely not saying that the work that has not been manually examined is not trustful. Well, basically, you will need to evaluate yourself as a researcher, because different databases work differently. You would have to check how they work and how their uh, quality of data is to you and to your, uh, to your study. And second, uh, uh, around to, to value our work, I mean, many work done by beta editorial team, we think that we might consider that data from Wanda E and MQWW is perhaps most accurate. And speaking of the completeness of the data, we think the Song Dynasty is the best. Not to say that Song Dynasty contains most data, because apparently Ming and Qing will, uh, uh, is already having more data than Song and will keep blooming for a while. But if we count all the possibilities of, uh, of data acquiring from Song, then compare with that, that of Ming and Qing, I think we've done pretty much almost everything for the song. And third is that I think uh, after you extract data from CBB, always disambiguate your data before analyzing it. Just as Professor Bo has, has addressed, well, he, he just do a quick scan of the name, but if you are doing like uh, an address, a, a spatial analysis, then you have to check the address. If you're doing an SNA, then you would have to you would have to look at if there are any simple mistakes done uh, by the workers or by the machines. And I think CBDB is just a start. You can use CBDB to raise questions, but it seldom became the final answer. You would have to prove it uh, with a traditional method or the the, the the in method that has just introduced by Chen Song. And also, I think this uh, came to the problem that what I would like to say to the future researchers and database contributors, uh, constructors, I think many work, many work is inevitable. Even if you solely depended on data from other databases, you still have to manually input it in some way. And I think multiple ways of many work may cooperate with each other. In the case of uh, transform letters, we've already had a quite huge base for some data, and we spend a lot of our time on this one task to make it more complete. Then it's rewarding. But if you have nothing, if you devote this uh, this kind of time to an area you have nothing, it's just not worth it. I think. And what lesson, uh, the lesson uh, I think we can draw from the, the failed test of song uh, postings is that use manual work to clean up the computational work seems tempting because you, you always think that you have already done 70% of work. But, well, you always have to think of a right procedure and a friendly interface to do it. Otherwise, the lasting 30% just seems endless. And I think 
uh, when when computational methods, when data mining technologies were first introduced into CPDB, we all uh, we all have some kind of ambitious ambition that one day computational method will take over the world, uh, take over our whole world, uh, uh, our manual work. But well, several years passed, and it's not the case. So uh, let's go back to what the tagging system do. So focusing on the workers and focusing on the editors and use computational method, use data mining skills to help people do the work better. I think that's currently most the most efficient way. Well, thank you. Thank you.